will be the very best. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump right into this. Last week, I got this voicemail from my sister. Yo, Scott, it's Kelly. Um, I just read an article that Pokemon cards are worth a lot of money right now. If you get a second, can you go up in the attic and look for the binder of Pokemon cards? It might benefit us. We might be rich. I am very hopeful. Talk to you soon. Bye. Well, that piqued my interest. And there's two things that I love, whiskey and treasure. Whiskey doesn't apply onto the treasure. Pokemon is popular now, but back in the late 90s and early 2000s, it was out of control. Pokemon. 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 Pokemon has captured the imagination of children around the world. <laughs> I will drive across the land, searching for and It's Pokemon to And back then, things got just a little crazier. School officials are finding that Pokemon cards are responsible for fistfights and the constant trading is not only distracting kids from classwork, but turning the playground into a black market. Short for Pocket Monsters, it is a Japanese video game which invaded the U.S. last year, quickly becoming a popular cartoon series. Now kids are going just wild over this Pokemon. And I really miss the times when the only pandemic we had to worry about was the Pokemon flu. Pikachu. Over the years, it's dropped off a little bit, but diehard collectors still stuck with it, and the ones that did are now cashing in. Recent sales of some of these more rare cards have gone for three to five hundred thousand dollars. That being said, I need to go find some cards. After a lot of digging through the attic, I found a lot of weird things, but I found the Pokemon cards. Let's go through them. I don't know a lot about Pokemon cards, but here's what I do know. We're looking for first edition and holographic, specifically a first edition holographic Charizard. I've got two binders. Hopefully there's a Charizard flying around in here somewhere. First binder, I'm gonna go with the one that doesn't have Pokemon written all over it. These cars are 1999 Wizards, which I know is good. However, I'm not seeing any first edition cards yet. There are a lot of these cards stacked in individual sleeves. I got a lot of doubles and triples here. I'm looking at about 30 pages in this binder with nine sleeves per page. There has to be over 300 cards here, but that's just a guess. I'm seeing more and more cards doubled up here. I know we're looking for Charizard. But right here, I have Charmander and Charmeleon. Just with the Charmander card, I have three in this sleeve, and it looks like there's more in each of these spots. That's like 10 of these Charmander cards. Some of these cards in Pokemon I do recognize, like Pikachu. I bet this is a great find, but I really just don't know. I'm sure some of you know more about what I'm looking at here. Use the comment section in this video. If you see something that I need to be taking a closer look at, I need you to let me know. I'm not seeing any hollows yet. There's no Charizard yet, but what I am seeing is these cars are all in great condition. I'm actually rather impressed with how well they've held up. Remember, these cars are 20 years old. I'm seeing a lot of trainer cards in here. I got energy cards. I'm not sure if these are worth anything. Wait, what is this? These are Pocket Monster Card Game, 1996. They look like they're Japanese. I got no idea what these are. I'm not finding any hologram or anything first edition here. I am finding a lot of these Japanese cards though. Let's go into binder number two. Let's see if we got something there. Okay, right on the first page, we have a holographic Charizard. It's not first edition, but it's still a decent start. On the same, we have a Venusaur and a Blastoise hologram. So far, so good. On the back of that page, we have our first find of first edition cards. Dark Charmeleon, Charmander, and Squirtle, all first edition. From what I know, this is what we're looking for. Each of these cards look like they're brand new. And jackpot, here's our first, first edition holographic card. It's a Pidgeot 1999. This has gotta be good. 
I'm still hunting for that Charizard first edition hologram. But look, there's so many first editions in here. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what some of these cards are worth. But you look at that, that's a first edition Pikachu. This must be a good find. First edition Zubat, first edition Golbat, first edition Gloom, Harass, Parasect, Venonat, a first edition Meowth. That must be a good. First edition Persian, first edition Mankey. I'm finding some of these names I'm familiar with. Here's another first edition hologram. It's a Machamp. And here's a first edition Pony Dash and a first edition Graveler. So I'm coming across more Japanese cards. I've got pages filled with hologram cards. And here's something I haven't seen before. These are Japanese holographic cards, also in really good condition. I'd be surprised if they weren't anything special. And the rest of it looks like energy and trainer cards, but some of these are first edition trainer cards. All right, guys, we didn't find that holograph Charizard first edition card we we're looking for, but overall, this is an exciting attic find. We found a lot of holograms, a lot of first editions, the Japanese hologram cards. I'm excited to see what these cards are gonna be worth. I've got a buddy that's gonna help me grade some of them. I'll definitely do a follow-up video with that one. And go below, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.